Jutta Treviranos is the director of the Inclusive Design Research Center at the Ontario College of Art and Design in Toronto, Canada. She is a professor and a researcher looking at how we learn and how we study and how do we do it for maximum inclusion and social justice. Our conversation, which was recorded a few months ago now, stands up really well in this moment. We're releasing it this week, and it seems entirely relevant and actually critical stuff for dealing with this COVID crisis. I had a chance to talk with her this week to find out how her ideas were being applied. She's joining me from Toronto. Hey, Yuta, thanks for joining us. Um, as I said, your research, our conversation from last fall stands up really well right now. I'm reeling from all the stuff I've learned since we talked. How are you actually applying your principles and practices in this COVID-19 moment? Oh, yes. Yeah. So our work has become even more relevant. The interesting thing is that our advice is actually not changing. It's People are starting to understand it better and understand the relevance of it. Um, so we are... Um, uh, helping schools to figure out what happens if you no longer have a school system, if kids are home with parents, um, and how do you continue to promote education now? And then also when this is over and in the long term when the next crisis appears. Oh, that's fascinating. Could you tell me a little bit more about how education systems are using this stuff? You don't have a, uh, a top-down education system anymore. The teacher is away from the students. The students are in very, very different environments. There's not a, a standard set of conditions that they're facing. And so what we need to do is to, the first step is, how do we reconstruct um, social cohesion? amongst people that are very dispersed and that are very different. How do you actually create that kind of coherent learning environment when people are in their own individual situations, physically and of course intellectually? One of the things that we need to do is abandon a, a bunch of our assumptions about learning and education. Uh, the, the notion that education is about ranking students all on the same scale, that it's about um, competing towards um, the same sort of learning goals. And what, what, we, what we're advising schools to do is to, first of all, get to know each other. Um, what are your interests? What are your skills? What are the resources? Also, um, stop creating as much as possible, stop creating a monoculture, meaning bringing together students of all ages works far better. So then you and start focusing on problem project based learning, especially in these times, it's really hard to engage somebody in something that doesn't seem at all relevant. We all have problems and challenges we're trying to address. So which challenges and problems can we collectively address? And there we use the same sort of inclusive design principles. You go to the people who are facing the greatest difficulty or who are currently not able to make things work. Let's focus on those particular problems and issues, and then let's collectively work towards that. Not that we're each doing the same thing towards addressing that problem, but in project and problem-based learning, it's who, who can do what? what, what are the resources you have, what are the skills you have? There are amazing learning moments that are coming out of this, but there are also Lots of things we need to rethink, reconsider, deconstruct, unlearn. So right now there's a lot of unlearning coming about. And what's your advice or do you have any advice for people who are struggling with remote learning? Um, perhaps trying to grapple with systems that don't at all adopt your approach. The greatest learning happens not when, the, when we present the perfect or the permanent stasis or something that's already complete that doesn't draw kids in or any learner in to engage in the learning. It's when we have something that is impermanent, imperfect and incomplete that it, it compels people to engage and to help out and to bring forth their, their knowledge and their strengths. And the, the other uh, 
piece of advice is look to the jagged edge, not the average, not the popular, um, but that's where there is the greatest vulnerability, but that's also where we have the greatest innovation. Don't try to do what everybody else is doing. Um, figure out where the gaps are and help to fill them. Figure out what you can contribute to address the collective goal that we have at the moment, which is to stay healthy, to keep socially connected, and then to um, hopefully recover from this in a, a better form. Thanks so much. Jutta Treviranos is our guest on the Laura Flanders Show this week. Check it out at lauraflanders.org. And thanks.